So many of our clients come to us and say, this staff member would just be great if they just had enough confidence. And I want people to stop doing that. I want them to stop saying that. If a person doesn't have confidence, it's more useful to look into why that might be and see if there's a opportunity for skill building. Confidence comes from mastery. So if you do not have mastery, you probably don't have confidence because you recognize in yourself a gap a gap of skillfulness. The way you get to mastery is through perfect practice. And you get to perfect practice through feedback. It's so valuable for people to actually build trust with their staff to give them useful, actionable feedback so that their skillfulness can be built. It's not a slap in the hand. It's not saying you did a terrible job. It's I recognize this opportunity for you to become even more skillful. If a mentor can give that kind of feedback so that a person can take it and develop their skillfulness, that's how you build confidence because you are going to get them closer to mastery not by just saying, oh, you just need to have more confidence. Support them, help them prepare, and then let the confidence build from the experience of actually succeeding. Confidence comes second, not first.